Martin McDonough's play the beauty queen of leaning delves into the tumultuous dynamic between a spinster daughter, Maureen, and her mother, Meg, leading to a grim conclusion. Set in Galway, Ireland, the play premiered in 1996 under the direction of the Druid Theatre Company. The story unfolds in the home shared by Maureen and Meg Follen. Maureen, at 40, is a virgin and lives devotedly with her 70-year-old mother, Meg. The plot takes a turn when Ray Dooley arrives, informing them about his American uncle's upcoming farewell gathering. Ray asks Mag to convey the message to Maureen, but Mag pretends to forget the details. Despite his attempts to write it down, Mag discards the note into the fire. Though Mag has health issues, Maureen suspects her mother's capabilities are greater than she lets on. Upon Maureen's return, she confronts her mother's reliance on her and discovers the suppressed party news. She makes Mag consume Complan as a form of punishment. Maureen later attends the party, where she garners the attention of Pato, Ray's older brother. Inviting Pato home, Maureen loses her virginity to him. Pato divides his time between London and Lenane, working in construction. Despite knowing Maureen for two decades, Pato admits he always regarded her as the beauty queen of Lenane. The following morning, Mag is taken aback by Pato's presence and his participation in preparing breakfast. Maureen intentionally flaunts her intimate connection with Pato, which infuriates Mag and intensifies their strained relationship. The narrative unravels the complex emotions and interactions between the characters, leading to a poignant climax. In the narrative, Mag discloses to Pato that her burnt hand resulted from Maureen deliberately scalding her with hot oil. She reveals that Maureen was sent to an English mental health institution, and Mag had to obtain guardianship to secure her release. Mag departs to retrieve Maureen's release paperwork. Meanwhile, Maureen recounts her time in England, where she suffered a nervous breakdown due to relentless teasing by her co-workers. She explains that Mag's burns occurred when she tried to cook in Maureen's absence. Maureen asserts that Mag's mental state is muddled, rendering her unable to differentiate between truth and falsehood. Pato believes Maureen's account and suggests she wore warmer clothing. However, Maureen interprets this as an insult, triggering a burst of anger. Pato leaves, promising to write to her. Later, Pato sends a letter from London, revealing his plan to work with his American uncle in Boston and inviting Maureen to join him. He reassures her not to worry about their previous encounter, attributing any issues to intoxication. Entrusting the letter to his brother Ray, Pato requests him to deliver it exclusively to Maureen. However, when Ray attempts to deliver the letter, Maureen is absent. Meg seizes the opportunity to remind Ray of Maureen's past actions, emphasizing how Maureen didn't retrieve Ray's fallen swing ball in their yard during their childhood. Additionally, she highlights Maureen's recent snubbing of him. Convinced that he owes nothing to Maureen, Ray leaves the letter with Mag. Mag reads the letter and then proceeds to burn it. As Pato's farewell party approaches, Maureen remains unaware of his continued interest. To save face, she fabricates a story for Mag, claiming she ended her relationship with Pato and embellishing their intimacy. Mag seizes the chance to mock Pato's potency against Maureen's wishes. Driven by the urgency to uncover the truth, Maureen employs a painful tactic involving hot oil to extract the confession from Mag. Mag lies prostrate on the floor as Maureen hastily dresses and rushes to the party. Upon returning, Maureen discovers Mag motionless. Maureen informs Mag that she managed to intercept Pato before his departure, and they both professed their love. In a fit of rage, Maureen strikes Mag repeatedly with a poker, leading to her demise. In the subsequent month, Maureen is cleared of Mag's murder charges. Ray informs Maureen that Pato is engaged to a woman he met at the farewell party. Maureen requests Ray to convey her farewell message to Pato, bidding him goodbye on behalf of the beauty queen of Lenane. Ray locates his swing ball and departs. Resembling her mother, Maureen dons Mag's sweater and settles into her rocking chair. The play received nominations for multiple awards, including the BBC Award for Play of the Year in 1996. It clinched the 1998 Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Play and the Drama League Award for Best Play in the same year. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.